Former President Trump went after Governor DeSantis again. He issued a statement saying DeSantis has, quote, the advantage of sunshine where people, uh, where people would go no matter who the governor was. He also called him just an average governor. Mercedes Slap joins us this morning. Look, Mercedes, there is a clear split in the GOP. It's DeSantis versus Trump, whether you like it or not. Who are you with? <laughs> well, first of all, I wish I could be the peacemaker to unify the party because we really need to make sure that Herschel Walker makes it to the finish line in Georgia. You know, we have uh, this runoff happening December 6th, and you're going to need both a Don, Donald Trump Jr. and a Ron DeSantis uh, to go and campaign and help get the base out, get the voters out, as well as making sure that that campaign uh, in Georgia is well funded because it's going to, you know, Warnock won the last special election. Yeah. This I, is going to put uh, Herschel Walker in, in a tough position. Mercedes, I put it to you. What Herschel Walker needs is the backing of Governor Kemp, not so much the overt backing of Donald Trump. What do you say to that? Well, I, I, you know, I think you need both the MAGA voter to come out because they're the ones that are the high propensity voters. They're the ones that go out and vote. And you also need more of the establishment Republicans. You need both to win. That's You also need that formula in states like Florida, which gave Ron DeSantis a very strong finish. Uh, it, it really is about the unification of the Republican Party and bringing along those uh, independent voters that do not feel comfortable with where the Democrats and Biden are taking this country. So that, that's really where we, we are in order to really win these elections. Winsor, uh, listen to uh, Winsome Sears. Now, she is the lieutenant governor of Virginia. Listen to what she had to say about Trump. Roll the tape, please. A true leader understands that it's time to step off the stage, and the voters have given us that very clear message. I could not support him. We have a clear mission, and it is time to move on. Uh, do you agree with her? Trump should step off the stage? I know I'm putting you in a very difficult position, Mercedes, but I'm doing it no, anyway. You're, you're... <laughs> Look, you're not putting me in a difficult position. I think the reality is, is you got to let the people decide. People are going to have their opinions following this past election. I think it's I think it's good for our process to have Donald Trump run. And you know what? If other folks want to jump into the race, they are more than welcome to. At the end of the people, at the end of the moment, we will trust the American people. We will trust the GOP voters to make the right decision for the Republican Party. I think to have just people, you know, they can have their opinions, but I think everyone's moving way too quick to put the blame on Donald Trump. There's a lot of blame to go around. At the end of the day, what we do know is we've accomplished the goal, we will accomplish the goal of firing Pelosi. That's a big step in the right direction. Obviously, when you're looking at where the polls were, I think there was uh, definitely a lot of misleading uh, direction that it, the polls were taking us, the Republicans, and I think it really was a disservice. Okay. Uh, but at the end of the day, we did make progress in states like Florida, Texas, Ohio. True. Uh, you know, and I think it shows that strong governors with strong records are going to do very well in these states. We'll see what happens in Nevada and Arizona. I'm very hopeful for Adam Laxalt to get to the finish line, and I'm also very hopeful for Carrie Lake to get to the finish line as well. Okay, Mercedes, the issue has been raised and dealt with. Thanks very much, Mercedes <laughs> Schlapp. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Excellent.